Hey everybody, not as fan. Back with you today, another Monday, and uh, coming up on midnight release of Madden 11, which of course uh, means that I will be probably at a Best Buy tonight, come midnight, to pick up my copy. And if I can't find the midnight release here, which they usually have, uh, I guess it'll have to be Walmart or uh, whatever the backup plan ends up being in this area. So I'm pretty confident there'll be a midnight release and a Best Buy around here um, since people tend to line up for that. I uh, <laughs> had the crazy experience with NCAA 11 being the only one to show up at my location to uh, to grab a copy. So um, I don't anticipate that being the case tonight or this morning, whatever you want to say. So. Uh, hopefully, I'll have a copy in my hands and able to start uh, pumping out some examples of gameplay uh, as soon as possible. So um, now that YouTube has the um, larger file uploader that uh, accommodates up to 15-minute videos, which was a nice treat to find out the other day when I stumbled on it by accident, um, I can now hopefully bring closer to complete uh, quarters in videos without having to condense it down to time and um, waste a whole bunch of time uh, in the edits. I can just put some raw stuff up for your enjoyment to just check it out. Um, and then of course, obviously, I'll probably run a dynasty, uh, maybe even a career mode, whatever whatever there's uh, some uh, some call for by you, the viewers, uh, whatever you'd like to see. Obviously, I'll be putting together some things for Machinima Sports, probably the Madden Minute series. Um, <clears throat> give that a little fresh uh, painted coat. Coat of paint. <laughs> Can't talk. Brain's a little fried from work here. Anyway, um, probably try to freshen it up a little bit, focus more in, about with uh, in-game ratings and things like that instead of real-life stats to make it pertain a little more to the Madden series. Um, anyway, so that'll be that'll be going on. I'll probably do a dynasty that I'll run uh, on Machinima Sports. Maybe I'll do a dynasty that'll run uh, just here on my channel as well. But um, let me know in the comments what you'd like to see, whether it's matchups um, that you just want to see um, right off the bat. And I'll, I'll warn you now. I'm probably going to play now that I know that you can you can set up Super Bowl matchups uh, as one-off games. And which means I don't have to sim and sim to get the right matchups anymore, which I'm really psyched about uh, down the road when it comes to making videos for that. But I'll just warn you right now, I'm probably going to try to exact some revenge for the Vikings' four Super Bowl losses and try to try to take one home. That might be probably the first thing I'll do, just for uh, the fun of it. So, But uh, let me know what you want to see. Uh, those of you who made requests for NCAA 11, I haven't forgotten about them. It's just that... Uh, it's very time consuming getting these things up and uploaded. So, um, you know, I did the Michigan uh, OSU example and I'm running with my Gophers uh, Dynasty now. So that's taking up most of the time as well as the TCT uh, Twin Cities Tech Dynasty that's going on um, Machinima Sports. So, but I will get to some of those requests uh, like Notre Dame, Navy, um, some of those others um, periodically here uh, as I'll mix them in with the Madden stuff and continue on with. Uh, <laughs> my player series with Joe Broadway and then my brand new uh, my player series with the pitcher um, so going from the pitching standpoint his name uh, I don't know if I said this before or not uh, his name is Bobby Bender as in uh, you know throwing the bender the curveball so um, breaking ball so uh, look for that coming up on Machinima Sports as well. They've got a backlog of my videos, and uh, they're pretty they're pretty jam full on the production schedule now. So be patient with those, especially Joe Broadway and all that. So uh, it'll be coming up. Um, so yeah, so leave uh, leave your comments on what you want to see on Madden, what you're what you're excited about, what you're not so excited about, um, whatever's on your mind about that, and I'll kind of think about that going uh, into getting my copy here and starting to throw some videos up on YouTube, so uh, let me know. And as far as uh, if you followed my Ask Not As Fan series, I've had two episodes so far. Um, in the last episode, I kind of uh, issued a challenge to everyone to, um, you know, send me questions, and that the the best question that I, you know, I deemed my favorite question, um, you know, going into this next episode would win the, uh, the Tim Tebow uh, Xbox 360 uh, 
base plate from NCAA 11 that I got from the midnight release of that game. So if you're interested in uh, getting your hands on that, please uh, send your questions very soon. I'm gonna this is gonna be kind of last call for those because I'm gonna go into production of that that uh, episode three of Ask Nautis Fan as well, which will probably take me a couple days to set up, but I want to kind of cap it off and uh, round up all the questions I've gotten since the last time and go from there. So. Uh, submit a question uh, to notasfan at gmail.com that's notasfan at gmail.com or otherwise just leave it in the comments here um, if you want to be considered for that so anyway um, boy I don't know what have I covered uh, I guess if you go a little real life sports big series coming up between the Twins and White Sox uh, good luck to both sides it's always fun when uh, Twins take on Ozzy and the boys um, Ozzy's always good for some entertainment uh, from the dugout, that's for sure. But uh, I definitely uh, respect uh, this uh, rivalry that both teams have going, and it's it's kind of fun to see the games um, matter when it comes around to a series against each other, um, depending on what happens with the White Sox today. It could be tied coming in, or it could be a one-game lead for Chicago, but either way, should be entertaining ball. So uh, good luck to both. Uh, teams on that. So, Vikings uh, training camp going on without Brett Favre, but that doesn't mean a whole lot because he can uh, decide to ride in on his uh, <laughs> the proverbial white horse any day. Um, probably after a couple preseason games have taken place, so hopefully that happens. But um, I'm a little uh, worried about what's going on with other players such as uh, Sid Rice, um, AP. And now uh, Percy as well. It seems like none of them are really being able to stay on the practice field, and I don't know if that bodes well for anybody. So um, probably just nagging stuff, but hopefully, you know, we can uh, hopefully we can field something of a team when it comes to week one. So uh, that's uh, remain to be seen. So uh, what are you liking so far? With uh, well, I guess we only have one preseason game, that Hall of Fame game the other night. Uh, wasn't a whole lot of action other than the uh, inductions themselves, but. Uh, let me know what you think uh, going into the season here and um, who you're rooting for, all that. So go ahead, just leave some comments. Anyway, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wrap this up here because i got some things to do before I head out to get my Madden copy. But, uh, you know, uh, just, uh, just talk it up here. Tell me what you want to see from Madden, um, what your thoughts are, if you, your impressions if you play the demo, um, comparing to last year, comparing to NCAA. NCAA set the bar high this year. I don't know if Madden can quite uh, reach it. It might be the first time in quite a while that people uh, prefer the college game to the pro game. But hey, it's good to have options, that's for sure. So I'm um, looking forward to it. I'll definitely uh, throw up some some uh, impressions. I'll do some, uh, some commentary over the footage at some point. But the first stuff that goes up probably will just be raw uh, game footage. So uh, that's it. I will talk to you guys soon. And uh, hope your week goes well. And we'll be talking to Madden just uh, hours away. All right, guys.